Mars on his mind. I'm so As you can see, I'm dressed very, very warm. No, really, this part is just very warm with my jacket. And as you can see, it's very bright. Let me switch over the camera and show you something that's very cool. Again, snowing in Illinois, and it is November. Look at all this. Thick snow. Let me get one. Come on, my tripod. There. Look at that. That's just snow falling from the ground. There's so much of it. And I thought, hey, let's take my RC car out and do a little bit of snow drifting and stuff like that. So I'm going to try and mount this tripod onto there somehow and drive it around like we did in that helicopter video, if you guys saw that. I know it was a very long video. I think it was about 30 minutes long. I did not anticipate that to be at least 30. I wanted it to be at least 10 minutes, but it came out 30. I still posted it. If you want to watch it, go ahead and watch it. Um, yeah, I got my big Buddha, and <laughs> we're gonna go snow drifting. And then maybe, over there's our lake, that's where I caught Titan. And we're gonna go maybe drifting on the ice, because I went a few days ago when the ice was pretty thick, about this thick. And I did some drifting on there, so we're gonna do that with that. So I'll get back to you when I get that tripod on there. So I got it rigged up here. I'll move it into the light. I had to take off the body because I couldn't mount it on with the body on it. And I already ran it a couple times through here before I recorded it. So I had my phone charging. So I thought I'd take it out a little bit. And so I'm going to set you on right there. As you can tell, this thing's pretty dirty already. Well, not dirty. It's just snow and slush in the wheels and maybe in the shocks. I don't, I don't think they're in the shocks either. It might not be in the shock. The motor is all right because this is a brush. Brush do you see. The receiver box, I put Vaseline in there because that's the only silicone thing that I can find that repels water. So there's a whole thick layer of Vaseline in there so water can't get into the receiver. Um, this is waterproof. Those connectors are on pretty tight there. Oh, squeeze them back together. They're not, they, they weren't loose at all. That's a little bit exposed, but we're fine. Then you can tell I taped up my lipo here with Gorilla Tape because I already had a bunch of scratches because this is a soft case. So I did it or soft. It didn't have a hard case on it, so I just taped it around to get more protection. And then brush motor, I actually took one of these underwater and ran it and it's perfectly fine. Nothing will happen to the brush motor um, unless if it gets into the receiver or the connectors. And then I'm going to have to buy something new. But I'm going to set you on there and then we'll... Give it a little blast. All right, you guys are on. I'm gonna turn on the controller here. There you go, that's the on button. I'm gonna turn on the actual receiver. Down there's the steering. And maybe we'll do one shot just driving around like forward and then we'll do it backwards where you can see the actual rear of the car, so. I gotta adjust it because it keeps turning around like that. There we go. switch the camera around and then we'll do it facing backwards. So you guys are backwards now. So when I go forward, you go away from me. I actually got reverse on it now. And then, so there's the bumper. So you guys are reverse, so hi. <laughs>
I did a freaking jump, dude. Oh my god, this thing is covered in snow. I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you guys. <laughs> Unhook it here on the tripod. Here, snow on it. Let me flip it around. My god, look at this thing. All covered in freaking snow, dude. Thick layer of snow here. Still works, as I said. Brush motor. Everything's still working. On. Still got steering. And look at this. So, if you guys, I don't know if I caught that. I hope, I hope I did. I hit that right there. There's a little slope, and we went flying. We went all the way over this. Where the snow was untouched, that's where we flew, and then we landed right there and went through here. That's where I picked up some snow. Like, yeah, we're good. All right, I'm gonna take this in, dry it, uh, throw it around a little bit, shake off the snow, and put the body back on, and we'll just show running videos of just driving around. See you in a bit. I got most of the snow off. As you can see, there's not a lot of that snow on there. I took that windshield thing where you off the snow off the windshield so we're gonna slap that body shell back on and actually i want to see the other side of this wow that got cleaned a lot that was dirty with mud and everything else so we're gonna slap that back on there put all these four pins in here do i have all my four pins on too yeah i got all my pins and if you're wondering why i have zip ties on here they used to be longer but they you put them on and they're easier to take off if they're longer um, but I snipped it off because I didn't like the look, but I still got a little bit left on them. So yeah, we're gonna take this thing out a little bit more. Maybe do another jump. But this time I'm gonna show you with the tripod not on the car. And you'll see how high it actually goes. Got all the body pins on. Where's the control? There it is. <laughs> so we're gonna, I'm gonna set you guys on the tripod here. And then we'll do some bashing. This thing's full of snow too and I went on that big jump, so. You guys are actually on my coat right now. I'll lower this down here. So here are my hands. You guys are on my coat. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna walk like this and then we'll show you how the jump was. Look like a little bit more off. So I can drive the car while recording it. For some reason, it's always slower with the body on it. I'm pretty sure it's because it's like something aerodynamics or something like that, but I'm not sure actually. Sorry about that. My phone just randomly turned off. I think it's because of the cold. So we're gonna just jump real quick. I gotta line it up for the jump here. Actually, I should go from side view. So I'm back in my house. I set my car down here to dry off a little bit. There's my controller. Um, I'm gonna. Wait a little bit, maybe plug this in, because it kept turning off. Um, and then I'll come back to you in a few minutes, or a second, because I'm good at editing. Um, when this, <laughs> when my phone's at, a, when my phone's back and charged up, and then we'll do the... My phone warmed up a bit. I put it on my charger right there. And so I'm going to actually open up the little receiver box um, and see if it got any wet, or if it got wet. By the way, this is Miller, if you guys don't, oh, Miller, damn it, I always say Miller. Um, this is Titan, look at him, look at the spikes up there. And then down there is our Plecos Cove, but as you can see, he's not in there. Where could you be, he might ask. You might ask where he could be. He is actually right here. I think this is your guys' first time ever seeing this Pleco. Now, I want to ask you guys a question. What should I name him? Because I have not given him a, given, given him a name yet. There he is. There's another look at him. <laughs> There's Titan up there. <laughs> like, record me. I am recording you, buddy. La, 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 la. He's so much bigger than he was. Look at him. Damn. That's a real good size comparison. He's about, he's about that big. Yeah, about that big. That's that's a big for a baby bass. And there's our little Pleco. I had this guy for about three months, something like that. 
And he finally came out of his little cave there. There's some of his food. He doesn't want to eat it now. Um, but yeah. Comment down below what I should name him. Because I have no idea. I do not have a name for this little guy. He is a Pleco. This is, what I, this is what I feed him. These little um, little pellets down here. This is what he eats. And one of these will last you a year if you get one of these. These are these guys are fun pets just by on their own. They're cleaner fish. They're supposed to just clean your tank. But I've had fun taking care of this guy as much as I've had fun taking care of this guy. Because when I turn on the blue light, this guy just goes crazy. He likes swimming around at night, sucking on all these walls and cleaning them. And I've never seen him eat. I want to catch that on camera. I've never seen this guy eat. Um, but yeah, he's one of these sucker catfish that clean the tank. Uh, cat scrapers or whatever they're called. These are, this is the food. Um, and then this is what I feed my bass. Just regular old fishing worms, actually. I just go to Walmart and buy some of those. Um, but yeah, I need a name for this guy. So comment down below what you think we should name Mr. Pleco here. But I'm going to take one of my tools out here. Uh, man, this place is a mess. Oh, there's a helicopter from the video. We're, we're gonna make more videos about this thing, by the way. Um, and yeah, I super glued it, but it broke again. <laughs> the little arm. If you didn't see that video, go watch it. Shelves are a mess. I got something in here. And then there's a the Loctite. Screwdrivers. Allen wrenches. I need, I think, this one or this one might work. Or no, this one's for the bigger screws. This one, and maybe this one. Maybe that one back there. So we're gonna go test these tools out. These are the ones that I got. I'm gonna test them out if they fit on the screw that I got on the little box, so we'll see if any water got in. So my freaking phone just ran out of storage. So I went deleting a bunch of things. Man, what the hell is going on with my phone today? I don't know, um, but okay, sorry about all that, man, yeah, I'm gonna take all these body pins off here, throw them down there, the body is getting cleaner though, alright, so this is the receiver box, so I'm gonna open that up off camera, see you in a bit, it's off, and as you can tell, I got the flash on, it looks fairly dry in there, but then you look into the actual box, this is where it connects to the actual controller here. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, you can see there's a little bit of shiny stuff in there. That's a little bit of the grease. Uh, as I'm looking at it though, it does not look that wet. Huh. So we are good with the receiver box. That's the only thing that's not waterproof, so. Good thing I checked. So we're gonna slap this thing back on and then we'll go outside and bash it and do that one jump without my phone turning off. Hopefully. <laughs> Receiver box, we're all good with the watertight stuff, so now let's do the final jump here. Without my phone turning off, hopefully. Alright, so we gotta hit the jump about like right there. So I'm going to put this thing in reverse, reverse it back, there we go, alright, I'm going to stand about right here, and actually catch the whole jump here, alright, are we ready? Oh, <laughs> did a front flip, alright, let's see this thing here. Throw it over there. Oh, that was a hit. I think I disconnected the rear bumper. Let's take a look here. No, oh, we're all connected here. That link always pops off because there's no screw to hold it in, but we're good. All right. Let's try that jump again here. Fail. Damn it, man. I can't hit it perfectly here. Oh, pick this thing up, throw it over there. And throwing it shakes off all the snow, by the way. That's why I'm throwing it. And I drove it straight, more snow. Damn it. That's fine, we can just drive it. 
And it should come off. Well, most of it should. Well, there goes some of it. And then I get more. Right. Let's try hitting it one more time here. All right. Back it up there. All right. This is going to be one of my last tries here. And then we're going in. All right. Three, two, one. Oh, there we go. We got it. Got it on our last try here. Let's try and get this thing out of here. If I can. <laughs> Not surprised if I do. Uh, semi made it out. I kind of kicked it a little bit. Steering is kind of stuck. Oh, that's probably why. Spinning around here and bring it back. And through the water. There it goes. <laughs> Alright, so that's gonna be the end of the video. Park it back in there. Oh, get the cooler. It's gonna be the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, and I'll see you guys maybe on the next snow day when we maybe take it on the ice. So I walked over there and there's there's just snow all over the ice and there's no way this thing's gonna drive on it, so see you guys when I make that video. Bye bye!